Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Jennifer Marie where I teach you how to become a work from home freelancer. So when you are started out trying to make money online, it's really hard to justify spending a lot of money on different design programs or software, especially if you aren't making any money yet. So when I was getting started as a freelancer, I really made use of all the free tools and software that I could. And to this day, I still use many different free tools because I just love them so much. So in today's video, I am going to share with you some of my favorite free Google Chrome extensions that you can use and that I personally use to this day that will help you when you are working as a designer, working with clients or creating any sort of visuals or social media content. Now, before we get started, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos just like this one on how to make money online and become a work from home freelancer. So let's get started. Okay, so the first extension I want to show you is called Colorzilla. As you can see, it has over 3 million users. I use this almost every single day. So once you click on add extension, and I will link you to all of these extensions in the description below this video, make sure to click on this icon here, which is your extensions icon. Again, this is for Chrome and you wanna pin it so it's always going to appear here. So to pin the extension, scroll down to wherever it is and make sure that you click this icon and that way it will pin your extension and it will always be here. So what this allows you to do is it allows you to pick any color that you like from any website. So for example, let's say I'm creating a thumbnail for a client or for one of my own YouTube videos and I really like this color here, this exact color pink and I want to use this color, but I don't know what the color code is. So to quickly grab this color code, I just click on the extension and then it says page color picker active. And I can just hover my mouse over the image. And as you can see, it is changing in the little sample box and it's allowing me to pick whatever shade I want. You know, I could even go for this color here or anywhere, even this blue, anywhere on this entire page and grab this exact color. So once I have clicked, it has now copied that color code. And so from here, wherever it is that you select your color, when they ask you to put in a code, I can just right click and go paste. And now it will allow you to use that exact color code. Now, again, you can use this in any sort of photo editing software or in any type of software where you are allowed to pick a color. And this is a tool I literally use every day. For example, you can see here with all of my videos on my channel, when I do a video about Upwork, I like to use the exact green that is part of the Upwork branding. Or if I do you know, a video about Audacity, I like to use the blue or the yellow, and this is just a great way to stay on brand. The second extension I want to show you is called Fonts Ninja. So once you install that, that will appear as this little ninja right here. And what Fonts Ninja does is it will tell you the type of font on any page. So let's say, for example, I'm on a website and I think, you know, I really like this font. I want to use this in my project. I can just click on Fonts Ninja and it will tell me the exact fonts that they use on this page. So if I hover my mouse over it, you can see it shows me the font, the size of the font, whether or not it's bold, and even the color. And over at the side here, it will tell you some more information. So it says this is a system font, both of these are, which means that this font is currently installed on your computer and you can already use it. You can use this on any website. Again, just clicking on Fonts Ninja and it will show you the type of font. If you don't have the font already, it might direct you to install it if it is a free font. And if not, you may have to Google the font so you can install it. But this is just a great way if um, you know there's a font that you really like and that you want to use in any of your projects and you want the name of the font. Okay, the third extension I want to show you is super cool. It is called Awesome Screenshot and Screen Recorder. And there are so many different possibilities with this extension. So it looks like this right here. And what you can do is let's say, for example, I click on this icon. It allows me to do all sorts of things. I can record up to five minutes for free if I want to do a screen recording, but I can also do custom screenshots. So for example, what you're gonna want to do here is save the image to local. You could choose cloud if you want to create an account. If not, just click local. And let's say I, I want to take a screenshot of a selected area. Let's say I just want to 
You can even keep scrolling down if you want and then press capture when you're finished. So now that's going to take us to this part of the extension and we can add all sorts of annotations. We can add text. Let's say for example, you're working with a client and you wanna make some notes about something. You could say, draw an arrow here. You could add text. I think we should change this picture, for example. Let's say there was some sensitive information you didn't want the client to see, maybe a password. You could click blur and you could blur out, you know, any information you wanted to blur out. There's even a highlighter. You could highlight something if you wanted. You can add rectangles. There's all sorts of different options. Now there are more options if you get the pro version, but you don't need the pro version to do all sorts of little quick edits. And then when you're finished, just click done. And then you're just going to click download as image and that will download the image to your computer. And then you can go ahead and send it to your client or just keep it on your computer for whatever um, purpose that you have. If you create an account, you can save it to the cloud and then you could upload to get a link that you could share to your client, which would also be easy as well. So this is just a really great extension with so many different possibilities. So the next extension is really cool. For example, let's say you're watching a tutorial. Maybe you're watching one of my tutorials teaching you how to do something on your computer, like this one, how to make a YouTube thumbnail using Canva. And let's say you want to follow the tutorial at the same time that I'm doing it. Now YouTube has this feature where you can click mini player and that converts this into a small window. But then if you went to Canva and tried to follow me, the little mini player disappears. So that's not really useful. So what this is, it's an extension called picture in picture, again, over a million users. And this is the extension right here. And what that does is let's say we're watching this YouTube video. Once you click on this extension and I can go to Canva and drag this wherever I want it and play the YouTube video at the same time as I'm working on Canva so I can follow the tutorial step by step. So this is just a really cool extension and you can use this even if you're watching a webinar or any other type of video and you want to do something else on your computer at the same time. So the final extension I want to show you is called Sumo Paint and it is an image editor and very similar to Photoshop, but completely free. So once you download that, you can go ahead and access it by clicking on this little icon and that will bring you into the Sumo app. And from here, you can do all sorts of different things. You can go file open from HD to open from your computer. So you can select whatever image you want to work with. You can also work with layers, which is great. You can add new layers. You can add text, geometric shapes. There's also all sorts of different filters, adjustments. There are all sorts of different tools that you can use. You're going to have to experiment and play with it, but this is a really great app for someone who doesn't have Photoshop and they want to experiment with these sorts of options. And when you're done, you can just click file and save, and then you can go ahead and export this as a PNG, a JPEG, a GIF, or the Sumo format to be able to edit it within this app again. Okay, everybody, that is it for my video on five of my favorite free Google Chrome extensions for design or freelancers. I hope you enjoyed this video. If there are any other extensions that you use and you recommend, make sure to share them in the comment section below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next tutorial.